Good morning, Mountain Shadows, and happy Friday. This is the last day for conferences. Hopefully you made it to your conferences yesterday. Maybe some of them might have, be after school today, but we have another half day at 12.05. So remember to keep following those HAL expectations. What are our HAL expectations, by the way? What is H? Honorable. O? Observant. W? Willing. And then our L is? You got it, being awesome leaders. So follow those HAL expectations. Even when there's a change in schedule, you still need to follow those expectations no matter where you are on campus. All right, we got some exciting things. Oh, lunch, let's do lunch real quickly. Barbecue, chicken, um, jerky, sunflower seeds, and so it's a grab and go. Grab your lunch, have a sit down, have a lunch, and then um, your teachers will take you back. All right, so um, we got an exciting week. A lot of things happening next week. Um, boo grams. What do you, boo grams, you say? Boo grams are just a little fall card that you can send to your friend, to a teacher. Um, you can buy one to send, take home to your brother or sister. And there's, we, um, Dr. Gilbert and I bought some little treats for them. And our lighthouse team will be selling them in the morning by the flagpole starting Monday. And it's only a dollar. So you bring your money in cash and you can um, send one to a friend. Now remember, if you're sending it to someone in another classroom, make sure you know their teacher because you will be writing their name and their teacher's name. So kind of a fun thing to do. Send something to somebody fun. Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody you're just not friends with and you just want to make their day and you want to do something nice for them. Um, send them a boo gram. So those will be on sale tomorrow um, until next week. I believe it's Thursday is the last day next week. So you got some time, but just $1 for Boo Grams. All right, next week is an exciting week as well because it is our Deer Valley High School, and that is our feeder school. And what does that mean? That means those of you that continue from Mountain Shadows, move on to Desert Sky, your high school is Deer Valley High School. So this year, we are following their homecoming spirit week. And um, so we made a couple little changes, but their theme is animation. So you'll see the signs that are around on campus. We sent them home with you as well. Monday is Fancy Nancy. So dress up, get your fancy outfits on. Wesley, I wanna see you in that suit that I know you love to wear for picture day. Um, so dress up, okay? Have some fun with it. But remember, if you have PE, you need to have the right shoes. Um, Tuesday is Tom and Jerry, so it's dynamic duo. So you could do something like um, Batman and Robin. You could just do a twin day with your bestie. Um, you know, any of those dynamic duos that you can think of. Um, what is Avatar? No, not Avatar. Anyways, I was thinking of something with Avenger, but I, I'm blank right now of Iron Man. Anyways, Captain America and Iron Man. How about there you go? But dynamic duo. So think about those dynamic duos or just do twin day. Wednesday is Flintstones versus Jetsons. And I sure hope you know who those cartoons are. But the Flintstones were back a long time ago. So think about dress up. Um... At, in the past decade, so 50s, uh, if you got a cute little 50s skirt, you want to do 60s or 70s or 2000s, I don't even know, 2000s, but decades, or you can dress in the future, and like the Jetsons, they're from the future, so the um, dress up is something you want to be when you grow up, so you can dress up as your career that you want to be one day when you're an adult. Thursday is Phineas and Ferb. And so it's dress up as a cartoon character. And then Friday is Care Bear Day. And you're like, well, what's Care Bear Day? Well, each grade level has a color. Kindergarten, your color is blue. First grade is red. Second grade is green. Third grade is orange. Fourth grade is pink. Fifth grade is yellow. And sixth grade, your color is purple. So I'm going to be finding out that morning from your teachers. I'm going to have a couple of student leaders coming around each classroom to get your classroom percentage. And as a grade level, the grade level that has the highest percentage of kids wearing purple. So let's say, or wearing their color. So let's say sixth grade, 100% of their kids wear purple. No other grade was 100%. Their class or their grade level will be getting a free recess and their teachers even get it duty free. And Dr. Gilbert and I will be out there doing the monitoring. So highest percentage on Friday that wears your grade level color 
will get a free recess for you and your teacher. So fun thing. And then remember that Friday night is the football game over at um, Deer Valley. So you may want to talk to your parents and go over and watch some football on Friday night lights. Um, fifth and sixth grade are going to get to go see the parade. So our big kids are going to get to go over there. So make sure you turn in your permission slips because if you don't have a permission slip, you don't get to go fifth and sixth grade. All right. Um, honors assembly for everybody. Fifth and sixth, remember that we had to change yours because you guys are going to the parade. Your honors assembly is going to be on Thursday at 2.30. So remind your parents if you have honor roll principals list for quarter one or you're getting a leadership award, your assembly is on Thursday. Everybody else, first through fourth grade, your honors assembly is still on Friday. And we're going to be doing our special treat for honor roll and principals list. Um, we are looking at doing it next Tuesday. So we'll get some more information for you on that, which is the 24th. So we'll get some more information on that. But busy week next week. We got a lot of things going on. Um, just a reminder, we have trunk or treat coming up at the end of the month, December, or I'm sorry, December. Whoo, Ms. Shana, you're pushing it. October 27th. Okay. So kind of a long announcement. So I'm going to get myself off of here, but we had a lot going on. So make it a great day. Great weekend. Thought I would go with a little Michael Jackson thriller. Have a good day, everybody. Do something fun this weekend.